Oh, hey! What the hell are you doing here? All the Zeekers decided to go turn their quests into the trader, too. Nice. Welcome back everybody to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming and this is the Wasteland Survival Series where we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed and we play out a map that is made up almost entirely of the Wasteland biome generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. Uh, but we do have a little small green biome here uh, where we currently have our base. And uh, yeah, so welcome back. All right, so let's see. I'm going to give you guys an update <clears throat> on uh, where we are. A few things have happened uh, since the last episode. And um, also, I just want to reiterate too, guys, that normally I would, you know, I've been putting out episodes Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but I, I just have a lot of off-camera work to do in the game, and I don't, you know, I've got a bunch of other things going on too, so I don't spend all of my time on Seven Days to Die, so that's just why, you know, um, there haven't been quite as many episodes out, but I am working on it, we're still progressing, so I just want to uh, make sure everybody's aware of that. Okay, so enough of that. Let's see, what do we want to talk about first? Uh, the first thing is, is that I now have a blue pump shotgun because I took um, the fourth point in Boomstick. So I am now a shotgun master, yay me. Uh, so I made myself uh, the blue pump shotgun. I also now have Minor 69er and Mother Load maxed out. And um, might I might put another point into to Skull Crusher it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to do that, but I'm not using the sledgehammer that much now. So, yeah, I'm not really sure about that. But one place that I did actually uh, put a point into and need to put a couple more points into is Demolitions Expert. And the reason being is because our, our horde-based design um, is is reliant uh, to quite a degree on, on explosives, on grenades and stuff like that. So I, I need I need to beef this up a little bit. Um, so um, I'm, I'm kind of diverting to do that, but I also, you know, I also have fortitude on the list of things to do too, because I want to get machine gunner up, uh, probably to special forces, uh, since that's our oh shit weapon. So there's just, you know, a lot of stuff left to do. We're just continuing to do that, and uh, I've been saying all along too that it is my intention at some point uh, to to do a uh, a respec, uh, uh, buy grandpa's for getting elixir and change things up but right now i'm just kind of you know going after the stuff that i need to get my horde base built and and all that sort of thing uh, okay so let's see what else do i want to tell you i um i f found didn't i find a, a, another book here i can't remember to be honest with you I, I, sometimes i try and hang on to that stuff so i can do it on camera but then then i actually you know don't want to do that because i need i need whatever that skill is at the time so uh, if I think about it, I'll let you know, but I, I, I learned, I, I found another, a couple of more books. Um, gosh, I can't remember what it is, but oh well. If it comes to me, I'll let you know. Uh, so yeah, we got that done, and um, I've got, uh, I think I showed you this, but if not, oh, that's what it was, that's what it was. I found the, the, the book for the Iron Breaker. Um, so now I can make that, and so I made Iron Breaker, so now our auger is uh, fully maxed out on mods, which is really cool, and I made another one for the pick. And of course, because I hit minor 69 or level 4, um, I, I made, remade all my steel tools. Well, I didn't remake the shovel because I didn't have enough parts, but I did for the axe and the pick. So, alright, so I think that gets us updated there. I'm making um, a bunch of gunpowder in here and have even more mats uh, to make more because uh, I have a lot of, you know, coal and nitrate that we've gotten. Uh, I do need to, to mine up some lead, more lead. And we got we got a fair amount here, but I do, do need to mine up some more lead, and I need to mine up some more iron. We're completely, almost completely, out of steel because of all the upgrading uh, that I've been doing. Uh, so my my forges, my steel forges are sitting here chocked full of clay, but I don't have them running because I don't have any iron. So I've, I've got to go mine some iron. But that, of course, is something I will do uh, off camera uh, later on. Okay, so we got a little bit more brass. I, I had to do another uh, you know trip out into the wasteland. Uh, to get more gasoline, because I was, you know, r with running the auger as much as I have been, I pretty much ran myself out of gas. So I did that, and I got some more brass and some other stuff like that. Okay, so let's see. We're continuing to crank out the cement here. Got lots of stone. And so we're pretty much just nonstop uh, on the cement and the concrete here. 
So let's queue up some more of those and we'll pull out whatever we got right now. And let's grab some sand. And you're still, okay, so you're still making stuff. So let's put about half of that ish up there. There we go. All right. So um, I'm going to show you, uh, give you an update on where we are with the horde base, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and do this next uh, tier two fetch quest, uh, which isn't too terribly hard, far away. In fact, I, I believe it's actually here. In, yeah, it's actually in the green biome, which is great because I don't like going out on the wasteland at night. It is no bueno. So let's go ahead and oh, we've got we got some hordies out there. Okay, let's um let's bail off this way. They're kind of actually in the area that I need to go in. So let's see if we can kind of pull them over here. Yeah, they're just derping out over there. Okay. So I added a couple more rows uh, to the to the upper area and then also put some plates around. I just recently did that before I logged off in the last episode. And it's my intention also to upgrade all of this to steel too. Because I just don't, you know, sometimes the zombies will actually hit on this stuff up here instead of fall down through, you know, the, the chute. And so, you know, if they do end up doing that, I want to make it as strong as it can be. And then I also made a, a tunnel, an access tunnel, uh, to get down in and out of the base. And that comes out over here. I haven't lined it or anything like that. I just pretty much just dug it out. So let's take a look. Let's go on down here. Make sure none of these bastards are following me. Let's go on down here and take a look. So it just kind of wraps around here and then it goes uh, all the way to this door, I'm going to upgrade this door to a steel door, a vault door. In fact, I'm going to actually put two vault doors in here. I didn't finish this out yet because I'm still, you know, I'm, there's going to have to be some access back in through here, and I haven't quite figured out what that's going to look like yet, so I, I just, you know, I haven't finished that part yet. Okay, so anyway, I've got uh, the entire um, upside-down pyramid, a.k.a. funnel, whatever you want to call it, upgraded to steel and then started on that wall and that wall. But I ran out of steel at that point. Uh, we also have the uh, the roof in now too. Uh, but I left a couple of spots in each corner because my intention there is to put in some electric fences and some uh, shotgun turrets. And so I'm going to need you know the access uh, to do that. And then once everything's set up, I'll probably you know close those up as well. Um, up at the very top there. In fact, let's actually go look at that. I'll show you what I did because I, I had mentioned to you a little while ago that I was going to make it so the zombies are funneled right through the center. And so, and what that's going to do is it's going to, you know, help prevent them from accidentally landing on my hanging platform. That's really what it amounts to. Uh, so these are basically the steep... Uh, you know, the steep incline or steep, whatever, whatever the hell those blocks are called. I can't remember. You know, the steep blocks, <laughs> the ones we're using down there. Um, I, I put them in there. So that way when the Zekers and that ladder, uh, we're going to take that ladder out too. That was just there temporarily. Uh, so when the Zekers fall down through here, um, this little opening is going to further funnel them right down through the center. Um, and that should work out pretty good. I, mean, I expect it will. You know what? Let's, uh, I, I'm not going to be going into this chute any longer. Um, so let's actually see if we can get rid of that ladder. What, it's a little bit tricky getting up here because it's not, there we go. It's not right on the, uh, you know, on the, on the center on the block like it normally would be. So let's just take this out of here. All of those, uh, bars and the hatch up there, I'm, those will be removed when we're ready to, to actually, you know, start this party up to they're they're just there right now so I don't get Zekers dropping down on my head while I'm still working down here. So that's just a temporary thing. Now those won't stay up there. Okay, so I think that's really about it for now uh for the upgrades to the base. Uh also just so you know, everything behind these 
angled blocks is steel too, all the way back to the wall. So that's that's why I ran out of steel because I had a lot of steel, <laughs> but you know we used a lot too. So, um, but we'll get more back. I just got to mine up a bunch of iron, and it'll be a little easier to do that now that we have a purple auger that's fully modded, which is really freaking awesome. Okay, so that's it for the base, guys. Uh, still working on it. It's day 68, day 70 will be the next horde. I don't think I'm going to have this done by day 70. So I'm kind of shooting for day 77 uh, or horde 77 to uh, to actually use that. We'll see how things go, though. We'll see how things go. And I'll probably do something more with this access tunnel, too. Like, you know, close it off up here. And maybe I might line it. I don't know. That probably wouldn't strictly be necessary. That might be just more for aesthetics, and it would be a fair amount of work. On the other hand, all the upgrading to do that and mining to do that would help me get more XP. So something to think about. Oh, and I, f I found some nerdy glasses, too. That's right, I did. I, I found those out in the wasteland when I was um, wrenching cars on one of those you know, like ruined uh, brick buildings that sometimes have the locker on them, and I found those in the locker. So finally got the nerdies. Um, <clears throat> and I'll, you know, I, I'm not really needing anything else in the intellect tree, though. So I'll probably only wear these, like, on Horde Night when I'm killing the zombies, you know, so I get the XP boost. But otherwise, we're, we're, st we're just going to stick with the lucky looters. Okay, let's go ahead. Do I need to go back and get anything, or are we ready to go? We've got two full stacks of 762. Uh, we probably... Yeah, no, I think we're good. I think we're good. I've got a full stack of shotgun shells. That's kind of my main weapon right now anyway. Yeah, so I think we're good to go. So this is a barn that we're going to do. And I'm not sure if it's one I've done. I probably have, but I won't be able to tell you that until we actually get there and look at it. So let's head on over. Gotta kind of get around this, all this stuff here. Um, are we going the right way? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, we are. I didn't think it was this far over, but I guess it is. I also went and cut down a whole bunch of trees kind of on the other side of the green biome and then, whoops, and then replanted them. Um, and got like two and a half stacks of wood so oh yeah we've been in this barn many times i don't know that if i've that i've ever done this as a quest though i think i've only just looted it so that ought to be interesting there's the thing i'm doing right there okay yeah it's it's funny i mean i have been in this barn many many times but i don't think i have ever done it as a quest at least not in alpha 18 I might have done it as a quest in Alpha 17, I can't remember. Um, <clears throat> we do know where the fat loots are, so we could double loot this place. Uh, yeah, why don't we? Why don't we double loot it? Because the, the loot's just right up there behind that wall, but we are, we're we're not going to be able to just waltz in and grab it, though. Uh, we are going to have to put up a fight to get to it, but let's just do that, and that way we get double loot. We like double loot. Yeah, I don't need anything out of there. All right, so let's see. Um, we're pro quite possibly going to have bikers and maybe irradiated bikers. Oh, speaking of which, look look at what I have on my shotgun. I've got the rat remover. <laughs> oh, and I switched to the duck bill too. I was using the choke, but uh, I decided to, to use the, the duck bill. It's going it to especially be useful you know, if we have multiple zombies because, you know, we'll get more hits in a group. So we'll try that out and see how that goes. Okay, so I think... How do we want to play this? I think what we'll do is... Let's just bust this and see what we're dealing with here. Okay. So 
So we did have we did have a glower, but it wasn't a a biker glower. I think the rest of the noise is downstairs. I think. Oh. Can you guys come up here? Here, let's do this. Let's just kind of at least sort of block that off. Maybe to discourage the, the AI pathing. Okay, what else do we got? We got kind of the same thing going on down here, don't we? Shoot that guy in the ass. Okay. I think we're safe to go up there now. I hope we are. Oh, that damn thing's locked, isn't it? All right, so they can they can actually run across here. So let's block that, and I don't know if they can get across here or not, but let's just block it too, just to be on the safe side. All right, we got an ammo pile. Ooh, look at that, a yellow magnum. That's kind of nice. Gasoline? Nope. Medical? A little uh, crutch there, or uh, splint, I mean. Oh, that's nice. Meats too, yum. Okay, that's worth uh, some bank, especially if we fix it all the way up. And let's see, I've got uh, 20 lockpicks, so we should be able to open this with 20 lockpicks. God help us if we can't. I don't know, man, though. I've had the lockpicking on this game actually used damn near 20 lockpicks before. It's kind of my fault, though, because I don't really ever put any points into it. It's not really a bad idea to put one point into it just so you can make a whole pile of lockpicks and then other than the fact that it takes forever, you're not really out anything. That's pretty nice. All right. Um what are we wearing right now? We're wearing yellows. This doesn't give us any more mod slots. It gives us two uh, it gives us two more resistance. I don't know if the extra armor is because of the mods or not, so let's... Okay, let's compare them now. This still has three more points of armor, so... <clears throat> so, I don't know, do we sacrifice three points of armor for two points of resistance? And 100 more durability. It's probably kind of six and one half dozen of the other, really. Um, so, yeah, let's do it. Whoops, I hit the wrong button. Let's let's just do it. What the hell? Okay, so that's not terrible loot. It's not the best stuff in the world, but definitely could have done worse than that. So, let's grab all of that stuff. Because all of... Anything that we have attached to this building will disappear when we reset. Okay, let's go ahead and do the quest. That doesn't make the Zekers go away, though. Say hello to my little duck bill. Ooh, we got a glower over there. No bueno. Okay, where are you hitting? Right here. Okay, so what is this? This is a retrieve quest. And whatever we have to retrieve is up above. But we'll go ahead and go through the whole thing. We'll do the whole thing. We've got a bunch of corn over here that we can grab later on if we need to. We do have a glower in there. Never a good thing. Lots of uh, cement and cobble. Does that go into a different room or does it just go outside? Yeah, that just goes outside. Okay. All right. Who, what kind of glower are we dealing with here? That's a biker. 
I don't think that's a biker. And it doesn't look like we'll be able to get immediately rushed from anything on that side. So you guys are just like hanging out in the pigsty. Let's do this. Do I have my uh, nail gun? Yeah. This isn't going to stop anybody for long, but... Oh shit, they're coming right, right away. He's just irradiated skater punk. Nice. Tell you what, man. It doesn't suck having four points in the shotgun skill. I'm a shotgun master. Look at me and my bad shotgun self. Where's that at? Right here. Shotgun master. What does this give us anyways? Uh, we can craft blue guns, of course. Deal 40% more damage, 40% faster fire rate, and 25% faster reload. On top of the fact that we have 7 strength, which gives us a 35% chance to dismember. Um, and we've got the thingamadoodle, the cripple him on top of that. So we should, have, maybe we should be starting to hit him in the legs. I don't know. The thing is, is that cripple mod, I haven't found that to be super effective in alpha 18 for some reason. I don't just, it doesn't seem like it works as well as it should to me, but I could be wrong about that. Could be wrong about that. All right. I got a pig. We're going to leave him be for the moment. Oh, shit! That scared the hell out of me. Stupid snake. <laughs> I thought I heard something, and then I looked down, and there's a snake right there. What do you know? Okay. I think... Is that like a side room in there, maybe? I don't remember. Maybe not. It wants us to go up that ladder there. Workbench schematic. How much is that worth? Hundred. Yeah, we'll hang on to that for sell selling. Uh, don't want that, but I will take those two things, and I'm just gonna scrap all brass items to save a slot or three. I don't think I'm gonna open that. That thing makes so much noise. And that doesn't. <laughs> okay. We're going to have Zeke's in here. In fact, they just spawned in. Um, You know what we could do? Well, I don't have any stone on me. I was going to say we could do the land claim. But we'll have to, <clears throat> we'll have to deal with this. And you know what? Just in case... Oh, that's our satchel right there. Look at that. Just in case we get... Zeekers trying to come up on us from down below, we're going to cut... Or not cut, but break that away. Alright, let's deal with this moron first. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that floor in there collapses. That's what that is. Yeah. Look at those heads coming off. That's a beautiful thing. Okay. Let's put a little bridge, bridge a doodle here. We'll grab our satchel. That's done. Yeah, we can do it that way. 
All right, so the thing about this place is what the game wants you to do is run across this collapsing floor, floor really quick over there, but then as soon as you get over there, a bunch of Zekers come. Excuse me. So we're going to not do it that way. We're going to come around this way. Oh, shit. There. That was close. All right. Let's put this here. And it's morning. Um, You know what? I'm going to actually take those. I probably have a couple pumpkin seeds. I'm at some point planning on doing a farm. I know I keep saying that, but, you know, one thing, one thing at a time, right? So let's grab those. All right. There's usually some Zika Ruskies right in here. You know what? I don't want to fall down here. Okay. Isn't that a Zeke right there? All right. Come on, boys and girls. Where are y'all at? That, that almost sounds like they're downstairs. Okay. Trying to break the... Oh. I guess I have to hit the door. I, I always want to hit the windowsill on that. Just reinforce that. Probably didn't need to do so, but... Whatever. Yeah, we got some dudes downstairs. I don't know if they can get up this ladder or not. Let's just make sure they can't. Yeah, I don't think they could anyways. All right, we probably got some guys up in the loft there. What am... What I'm hearing, though, is it sounds like someone walking around outside on the gravel. Okay. Yeah, he's down on the on the floor there. Well, that's a pretty decent amount of concrete. Oh, you know what? There's a, I think there's a hidden stash box. It's either a hidden stash or maybe it's a, a working stiff. There's, there's something in that silo, so we got to remember to grab it. It's too bad I didn't remember to do that before we started the quest when we were double looting, but no biggie. All right, let's just block that off there. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get rid of this. Because those guys are going to try and run over here. That's a little too far away. You know, I've, I've mentioned to you guys before that I'm also uh, don't playing a lot of Ark Survival Evolved. And on that game... Oh, hey, watch this. <laughs> oh, it didn't kill her. Tough big mama. Oh. Is she, like, feral big mama? I, I have, like, n n either... I think I have one point in handguns, so... <laughs> oh, yeah, she was feral, Big Mama. No wonder it took so long to kill her. All right, um, anyway, I've been playing a lot of Ark Survival Evolved, and in that game, the shotgun in that game... <laughs> you can hit stuff from a mile away, and it still does the same amount of damage. It doesn't have the... That the concept of it of it being a close range weapon is kind of funny, and sometimes I forget that, and then I come and play seven days, and I'm shooting at something way further away than I should be, and I can't hit anything. I'm just like, what the hell? Okay. 
Okay, we got a yellow bag we can check down there. Oh man, you know what? I think I destroyed... There's a, a usually a medical thing there. Oh well. Oh, that? We'll make it get a, a pretty penny for that thing, won't we? Well, I feel like I can't talk very well today. It's like, what the hell's wrong with you, man? I'm not drunk. Not yet, anyway. Let's scrap those. We're gonna have to do a little bit of inventory finagling here. Uh, I'm just gonna scrap those. Those are super easy to make. Uh, yep, we'll take those. Whoops. Take those. Okay, that worked out. Um, but we are still, we still need to make some rooms, so... Wow, look at the shotgun. It just destroyed... Oh, no, that wasn't the shotgun. That was the... That was the... Oh, man, we almost lost this, too. Dang. Uh, that was the... The gasoline thing breaking. That's what that was. Okay, let's open this up. Let's see what we got. I... I think that I did the Alpha 17 version of this barn, the quest for it, in Alpha 17. Um, boy, that's almost not worth it. That's definitely worth taking. In fact, I wonder if it's even better than it is. Look at that. It's, it's even better than the one we have, at least in terms of damage. Okay, well, we need to eat, so let's go ahead and eat this. And that frees us up one slot. Or, actually, no, it doesn't. Um, we, we don't need one piece of paper, so we're going to take that. Um, we've got lots of glue now and lots of duct tape. I normally wouldn't throw those away, but we've got to make room for this stuff. And likewise with leather, we got plenty of leather. So this will probably be worth fixing up and selling. <clears throat> um, maybe margin, marginally, maybe. Okay. And we also have that, um, we also have that yellow bag down there too. Oh, oh, I was going to say, did it just despawn? Oh, okay. Um, what? Here, we don't need this. We don't need that. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to harvest the pig right now because I don't have any room. There's lots of guts and our bones and all that in here, too, if we did need to come back and get some of that sort of thing. There's a cabinet. I'll take those. Because we can scrap those. All right, we got a wolf outside. <clears throat> how did we how did we get in here? Oh yeah, we came through this way. There's a pretty decent amount of concrete and cobble in here. I'm probably gonna get that. We'll unload some of this stuff into our bike. Okay, where's that wolf? Oh, he's right there! Shit! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> that was close. All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's uh, offload a couple of things here, and uh, then we will go uh, get the thingy madoodle out of the silos. Uh, we'll put that there. That there. I gotta remember to switch these turrets because this one is better than that one, even with this being modded. So that's pretty good stuff. Uh, let's put the extra gasoline in there. We don't have to completely unload. Just that's good enough. Okay. Um, here we got this. Let's harvest him. And I guess the silos on the other side. Tell I have really terrible handgun skills <laughs> in terms of the the perk for it. So the silos on this side of the building, I believe. I shouldn't be wasting shotgun shells doing that. Oh, <laughs> we, here, let's just do this. I'm such a noob. I thought I was back on the other side of the building. Obviously, I wasn't. All right. Yeah. 
Well, wouldn't you know it, I did that right by the doggone ladder. All right, let's um, <clears throat> let's use this. Let's use the right tool for the job here. Well, that does have 2,000 hit points, so it's kind of stout. Oh, was that like a... That was like a steel ladder. Huh. Okay. Secret stash. And we get a baseball bat, which I'm not particularly fond of. All right, well... Now we know. All right, guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and harvest uh, all the cobble and, and cement out of this place because there's just enough of it to, to make it worthwhile, even though I'm making that stuff like crazy back at the base. And, um, let, so, let, yeah, let me do that. I'm going to just, I'm going to do a cut and do that, and then I'll meet you over at the trader for the turn-in. Um, we'll see, and we'll see what, what we get for the reward, and then we'll wrap up this episode. So I'll be right back. Oh, hey! What the hell are you doing here? All the Zeekers decided to go turn their quest into the trader, too. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and turn in and see what we get. This is still only a tier two quest, so I'm not expecting anything absolutely phantasmagorical. But we'll see. Oh, you know what, though? I need a little bit of room. Uh, we managed to get about a stack and a half or so of cement and almost a stack of cobble out of the barn, which is good. I found that in a... I can't remember. I found it in something else that I had, I had skipped before. I don't remember what it was. Uh, you know what? I don't, even go, I don't have any... Of, blah, blah, blah. Try again. I don't have any of my coins with me. My dukes. We'll get a few, though, from the turn in here. Resistance. Now we're okay. Actually, you know what? Four vitamins does not suck. I will take that. Plus, we get 3750 XP and 560 dukes. All right. What's your next job? Um, you've got to fetch in a clear to the north. Uh, that was going to be in the wasteland. On a fetch in a clear to the south, that's probably going to be in town here. I really admire you, friend. Old Victorian. Okay. God bless you and good luck. Now, have you also restocked? I think you have. So let's take a look and see what you got here. I am looking for the accessories. Um, schematic for the four x four shotgun side volume seven targets with full health. Two. Oh yeah. Definitely. Um, we're going to have to buy that. I'll have to go back and get my coin because it's all at the house right now. Scrap gloves, handgun parts. Okay. Yeah, that's actually really nice. With full health tick, 20% more damage, so you really get a good... You know, if you combine that like with a sneak shot on top of that, you can really wallop them suckers. Suckers! All right, let's see. Uh, we're no longer looking for nerdy glasses. We finally have those. I'm just going to see what else he has. Chili dog. I'd rather, I'd like to get the chili dog recipe. What I'd like to get. That's all you have, huh? Wow, you're, you seem like you have less inventory this time around than you normally would. Okay. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to go home, grab some moolah, and buy that. That's going to be nice to have. But guys, I think that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And I will continue to work on the Horde base. And plan to have another video for you uh, on Monday. And we'll go from there, okay? Take care, guys. Be safe. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.